Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today we are going to be going over an awesome money effect pack that you can use for free on any of your videos. I'm going to show you how to install it, get into DaVinci, and mess with all the cool things that you have inside that pack. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to get these free transitions, head over to Cinepax.com and head over to the free pack section and add the money transition pack to your cart. From there all you got to do is put in your email, you can put anything else for the billing address that doesn't matter, this is a free pack, and you will get emailed your download link and we are all set. Alright, so once you have your zip file, make sure you extract everything first, either extract all or drag everything outside the folder. Then you can just go over to the media tab of DaVinci Resolve, find your assets, which I already found right here, and just drag them all into your media pool. Now this pack also includes a free LUT as well, so you install those differently into DaVinci Resolve, so I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But as for everything else, you have all these 4K transitions, which you have like some cool money white transition. They're all Apple ProRes with transparency, so they're just dragging and drop really cool stuff um, there's also some green screen and blue screen ones just in case you need to key any of these transitions for any reasons in any other programs but for DaVinci Resolve that's not a problem and we'll be using all the base transitions right here with the transparency all right so on to the timeline where we drag things around now a few things that we got is this cool animated frame here so if we play this through as you can see let's click on this to loop it and if you plus this you can see that it just kind of shakes around with different money effects now that works perfectly because this footage right here already kind of has some black bars built into it so why don't we try to spice it up with this pack let's just go ahead and drag and drop it here and once you play that through there we go looking nice now i always like to loop these hold down alt and drag it out and drag it out again and if we play that all the way through then you can see that it's looping and it lasts a lot longer which is cool if you wanted to delete all of these here and you just wanted maybe you didn't want it to move in any way you just wanted one of them uh, go ahead find the one that you want I like this one and right click on it and just go to change clip speed and click freeze frame and if you do that then it's gonna make a frozen clip here and it'll just stay still on that one image that you like so go ahead delete this and as you can see now it's not moving anymore it just stays on that one frame which is helpful if you need that for any situations as well another neat thing is this money transition here so if you drag this on top of your footage here and you play it through then you'll get this sick transition right here there's also a few wipes as well so like for example this is some money if we drag it like right in between here you play that through then it looks like this is kind of wiping through um, but more specifically i kind of think it looks better over here because if we play it through here then you have the money kind of coming in at the same time as you see and then it's kind of slides in the last transition here is like a rip, so we can just throw this at the end. You can just play that through, just get a feel for what it looks like. Um, bothers me if that's not aligned. We have to have it all perfectly aligned. And if we press that, there we go. That looks pretty cool. Uh, nice little ending to the clip there. Another cool thing to stylize everything even further is just add your own effects to each of these overlays. What we can do though first is why don't we add one of the LUTs that was included in the pack. So to do that, let's apply it to this green, to the transition here. Um, the LUT that comes with this pack is like a very green tone sort of LUT. So let me show you how to install LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. Over here in the color page, let's go ahead and let's close a few things out here. So the one thing that you're going to want to open here is your LUTs previewer. So here's your preview panel of all your LUTs. Now to install a custom LUT, what you got to do is go up to File project settings then go down to color management and go down to your lookup table now just click on open LUT folder and that's going to open up your folder where all the LUTs are installed all right I'm going to bring it over to a new desktop here so it's not as messy now once you have this folder open go ahead and drag in your own custom LUTs so that would be in our Cinepax folder right here so let me shrink this down let me go into here a little bit further and where's our LUTs? It's right here, money sample LUTs. I like to keep everything organized, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder, call it Sin Packs. All right, and then once I click on Sin Packs, I'm gonna drag the money sample LUTs folder inside, and then inside there will be the LUT. Once you guys have done that, go back over to your DaVinci Resolve and click Update List. That's gonna update the folder system so it knows what's in there. And once you've done that, you can see that it updates immediately. So if we drag this over, there's our Cinepax folder. And you can open that up, go inside our money sample packs, and as you can see, it's a very green LUT. Right click on it, go down to apply LUT to current node, and that's gonna apply it to this node right here. And there you go, you're using a cool new LUT. 
So if we play that through, now we got a cool green color to it. To stylize these even more, you can apply any sort of effects to them. If we want to mess with color even more, I like to drag invert color on top of it. And as you can see, it kind of gives it a really eerie kind of ghost feel to it, which then goes well with our cool green money effect as well. If you wanted to, you could also go into fusion. Why don't we add just a little bit of a glow to these as well? So let's just type in glow, press shift spacebar to bring this up. Glow, where is it? Right there, perfect. Add that, and as you can see, it gives it a nice little bit of a glow, and why don't we bring this down? I don't want the actual money glowing too more, too much, just more of the, the edges, I think. Adjust that until I'm happy with them, right around, right around there. Then also you could disable some of the channels, and uh, make a cool little pink right there, I like that, I like. I think that'll look really nice with the green over here, and wow, okay. Uh, well, actually, I forgot we had the, in the, the invert effect on top of this, so it's inverting the pink. But actually, I happen to kind of like that, and playing that through, we have a lot of cool green glowing effect. That's a really kind of ghosty sort of inverted effect. I like it a lot. Let's see how it looks with, the, with this off. Uh, there's our pink. Um, play that through. It looks cool, it looks cool enough, but I kinda I kinda like having it inverted. What can I say? Mistakes, happy accidents. Another thing we could do if we get rid of this image because we want this to be a video, so let's bring back our animated footage of the border here. Uh, we could bring this into Fusion as well and add some analog damage as well, which also looks pretty cool. Shift spacebar, whoops, shift spacebar, uh, analog damage, there it is. And just click on that, and if we play that through, then that gives it a crazy little distorted kind of uh, analog effect. And if we go over to the presets actually, that can speed things up quite a bit. Security camera actually might be fun, simply because it's a whole bank robbery and stuff. We play that through to get a different tone as well. We could keep, but I might bring the preset back to the 1990s and just kind of mess with the ghosting slightly and the gamma misalignment. Bring up the overscan just a little bit. Honestly, just mess with all of the different options to your heart's desire. I want to bring up the line sharpness is the big one. I do like having the kind of VHS sort of screen TV line. So if we do that, then we have a cool overlay. And I like that a little bit better than the security camera. And as usual, we can hold down Alt and just duplicate this out. That way it fits the whole thing. And there you go, guys. If we play this through, you got a cool stylized money effect and we got some cool effects glowing in, transitioning, and spicing up your footage. Alrighty guys, hope you guys liked the tutorial. Please let us know if you have any questions. If you guys did like messing around with all these free assets, which you can use in any projects by the way, we have plenty of questions always asking if you can use them anywhere. Yes, you can. If you do want to get the full pack from Cinepacks.com though, I have a sample code. Type in SAMPLE15 during checkout, SAMPLE15, to get 15% off your order. And as usual guys, have a great day and happy editing.